see um the school bus just coming in load up with pitney emergency yo yo emergency go emergency with her see see the, almost the entire school coming down from orchards the pitney may eat the wall of the sweetie No, somebody carry them straight up to a medical facility too. See? Pitting them a faint. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan, a blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps, we are going to kick it off over there in the parish of Centre where more than 60 students from the Ocherius Primary School have been rushed to the hospital after falling ill. The students reportedly bought sweets from a male vendor at the school gate around midday yesterday and after consuming the sweets, they started falling ill. The school administration, including the principal and guidance counselors, realized that something was wrong and organized a bus to transport the children to the Sentence Bay Hospital. Some parents also arrived and took their children in private vehicles and taxis to the hospital. Now we are going to hear from the health minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, as it relates to this particular incident. He revealed that the sweets sold to the students of Ocherius Primary School, which led to them falling ill, entered the country illegally. So we are going to hear from Dr. Christopher Tufton in an RJR interview with Dean Jackson Miller. Listen a standards and regulation standpoint which is under my portfolio we do not give permits to edibles where you have products that are laced with THC or any other form of extract from marijuana it's normally done locally by persons who do it on their own accord where it becomes a product that is on the market packaged and in this case literally packaged for kids because it had kind of cartoon looking characters and so on it's clearly a product that was produced overseas and brought in into the There is no record of it in our books, and policy-wise, it's not something that we approve at all. And I checked that this evening again. There would need to be an issue of enforcement. The police is in the in the mix. They have collected samples. The ENS, the National Council on Drug Abuse, have access to those samples. They do some further testing to see what else, if anything else, was in the, the product. Um, but they will have to try to track how it became a product on the market. And clearly, if, we, if they can apprehend those who are, you know, pushing it commercially. The others, for the most part, have been treated, um, given, you know, hydration, fluids, assessed, have been sent home. There are a few still being observed, but with the intention of sending them home. So, you know, there are five that are not yet out of the woods, but there, there is a hope clinically that by the morning there will be a better assessment that could be made in terms of their status. Can you tell us their age range? Between 7 and 12. Okay. They're real kids. Um, very, very tragic. 
Now, head of the Sentan Police Division, Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, says the vendor who sold the sweets laced with cannabis to the students at Ocherius Primary School had visited the facility for the first time. Now, we are going to hear from SSP Powell as he weighs in on this latest occurrence in his police division. Listen. It is to be noted that this vendor is unknown. It was the first time we are told that he was visiting the school compound. The police have been informed. We are at the hospital and a team has been dispatched to the school where we are gathering information around this incident. The male vendor is being asked to report to the police anyone with information that can assist us to identify him or his whereabouts are asked to communicate with the Sentan police or any of our confidential line. This matter is being treated with the strictest urgency and again we are asking anyone with information that can assist us with our investigation to make contact with us. So now my peeps, we don't know what are gonna really come of our great nation Jamaica because the future look rather dim let me correct myself. The future look rather dark. Bull broke. No light at all. No de de. Darky dark, you know, as they state. Our young people has become monsters. And we as the elders are to be blamed. We fail them. Now right on the heels of the BB Coke incident where the 11th grade male student brutally beat up a 8th grader for stepping on his clerks. Another incident of such took place this time in the parish of Sentan. Now the Sentan police are presently investigating the beating of a female student by six others at Steertown Academy on Monday after she allegedly stepped on the shoes of one of her schoolmates. Now we are going to hear from the commanding officer again Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, who spoke on the issue. Listen. On Monday, October 2nd, 2023, about 2.30 p.m., a grade 7, 13-year-old female student of the Steertown Academy was physically assaulted by six other female students on the school compound. The information that we have suggests that sometime about 8 o'clock the said morning, the victim allegedly stepped on the shoe of one of the persons that assaulted her. The person that assaulted her indicated that she would deal with her case after school concluded. On the conclusion of class, around 2.30 p.m., she was set upon by six students of the said school who physically assaulted her. The police were informed of this incident and immediately commenced investigation. We will be collaborating with the school with a view to see how best we can treat this matter in an appropriate way. So we'll be appealing to the students that are involved to make themselves available for the investigation to continue. Now, my peeps, we're going to talk about two things in closing. One where I saw a viral video circulating with this mother who was basically in mama bear mode when she came publicly denouncing a school known as Evandale Preparatory School on Retirement Road that is in the General Crossroads area that the school is pushing a narrative yeah man a push the whole fishy type of business in at the school to the fact where the school has a sign on its bathroom that is depicting such meaning on your screen as i can see we see a male a female then a half man and a half woman in a one type of thing so basically the mother mad and she is adamant that the school must answer to what is going on. Now it is said that the school eventually decided to expel her son from the school. She stated that, listen, you don't have to expel my pitney because me already I got remove my child from this institution. Now we would urge for the Ministry of Education to get involved because this is not something. This is not Jamaica something. 
we not understand the half man and half woman thing here. Stop confusing our children. And in the light of that, I have a rather disturbing video to share with you. Not the norm and on the spot news media, but if we believe that the children is our future, as Whitney Houston said, teach them well and let them lead the way. And this is not teaching our children well. I'm pretty sure on the spot news media will be getting a lot of backlash for this. But as always, I care zero. We are stand up for principles. We can't allow these things to continue happening. And this video that I'm going to show, many people are going to say, why me show that video there? But guess what? This video is all over social media. So on the, on the spot news media, I expose them. And furthermore, they're the ones that took that video and put it on social media and made themselves viral. So why shouldn't I help them to be viral? And show other young men what they are not supposed to be. We have to protect our children by whatsoever means necessary. Yeah, man, watch. You turn it down, Rita. Now, my peeps, it is alleged that both male students are from a prominent comprehensive high school in Kingston. If you know, you know. Drop the comments them. Yeah, man. Now, Jamaica, we think look dark. Dark, dark, dark. We believe that the children is the future. And if this is the future, all broke. Yeah, man. No form of brightness. And I continuously ask this question. And if someone can help me to articulate a better way to say it, because trust me, I'm lost for words presently. How did we get here? How? Poor me, I tell you. The thing rough. But anyway, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast on the spot news media. Yeah, man.